Hello everyone. Stardew Valley is full of idiots. Look at them, they're everywhere. But as it turns out, some of these idiots are useful and some of them more useful than others and that's what we're going to be discussing today. Which of the characters are worth befriending and some of the ones that just aren't worth your time. Now I know they say don't feed the animals but Linus is actually a really good one to befriend. He does enjoy the spring onions which are the easiest gift to get him because they have numerous numerous quantities early in spring and you just got to pick them up off the ground. He does also like several of the other forageable goods, so just feed the guy, that's all he wants. There are a few things he does like more, but they are definitely not worth the time and effort to get for him, especially if he just likes a crap you find lying around on the ground. Another reason why Linus is so great is that he's always accessible. He's always outside somewhere, he's never behind a locked door, and he's always in this area. Once the area above opens up, he will wander up there occasionally, but generally he doesn't wander too far away from his tent. Once you do start to make yourself friends with him, he will occasionally send you stuff in the mail, and that's what this is all about. People sending you valuable stuff. So he can send you a largemouth bass, a catfish, mackie roll, fried calamari, and sashimi. Any one of these are really good for energy and health, but some of them are pretty valuable. The largemouth bass and catfish in particular, as you can see, are worth 150 and 300 gold. The other things are pretty valuable in themselves, but they're more worth their energy and health. And aside from that, after several of Linus's heartfelt heart events, you will learn how to make wild bait and sashimi. Sashimi simply turns less valuable fish into more valuable fish or the health and energy, but in my opinion the most valuable thing it gives you is wild bait. I generally don't even bother fishing that much until I have the wild bait because it actually makes that much of a difference. You'll catch so many fish that you don't even know what to do with yourself. From there your fishing skill goes up to level 10 and life is good again. I should also mention as well that the higher the friendship level with someone, the higher the chance that they will send you stuff in the mail, so you definitely want to give people gifts as much as possible. Which is pretty contradictory to the way I normally play, but hey, whatever. Normally Linus is the first person I befriend because I always pass him on the way to the mines, and he likes the forageable goods like I said, so befriend Linus, good things will happen. And another popular choice, of course, is Shane because look how early he leaves, 7.20am he's out of the house. And as hard as I've tried, I just can't push him over that edge. And Shane, surprisingly enough, is a fan of drunk people stuff, like beer, appetizers like hot peppers and pepper poppers, and of course, pizza. But for most NPCs, I wouldn't really give them anything too crazy unless you really want to be their friend. I often just give them stuff I grow on my farm. That's a great way of doing it, when in doubt, give them stuff you've grown yourself, they're gonna like it. Here you go champ, this'll get you through the workday. So he can usually be found early in the morning on his way to the Jojo Mart where he works. There are only two items he will send you in the mail, but both are pretty good. The first one being pizza. It's popular for all the right reasons. Whatever that's supposed to mean, it's worth 300 gold, so it's pretty valuable, great energy and health. And pepper poppers, which is what I personally like. Good energy, good health, not as valuable, but that plus one speed is what I'm all about. Plus two farming, I don't care about. I mean, what do you really care if you have plus two farming for a day? I really don't see the point. The plus one speed is awesome though, especially if you're in the Mines of Skull Cavern, that's exactly what you want. See, depressing alcoholics do have something to contribute to society. Next, surprisingly enough, is one of the creepiest people you're going to meet in Stardew Valley, Evelyn. She has a particular fondness for diamonds, because of course she does, and flowers because she's old. Also, her door is always open pretty early, again, because she's old. One thing you'll find a lot of these NPCs like are the daffodils that grow in abundance in spring and don't really have any use aside from a small monetary value, so you might want to hold on to all of those, that way everyone can love you. Now, once you're good enough friends with this old pig, she'll send you all sorts of baked goods. Like bread, which is commonly found in the garbage cans of Stardew Valley, chocolate cake, which is a great source of energy and health, and cookies, again, energy and health. All of these have pretty decent value, but the energy is what you want out of these. Also, once you get her above 7 hearts, she'll send you the recipe for rice pudding in the mail. Rice pudding, because of course. Now I know what you're thinking. You might as well befriend George too, because you're right here anyway. Well, nope. And that's because this is what George sends you in the mail once you're friends with him. Stone. Because it matches his personality. To be fair, once he hits 7 hearts, he will send you the recipe for a spicy eel, which is really good because it's huge energy, lots of health, and luck and speed, which is everything you could ever want for Skull Cavern and Mines. Plus, one of his loves is the leek, which is found in spring. It's one of the forageable goods, so it's that easy. And what's even easier is the fact that George can't get very far because physics. But he's not really worth your time, so I wouldn't go out of your way for him because he can't go out of his way. And here's a guy you're going to get to know really well. A guy that is hopelessly going nowhere, both with his career and his love life. Good morning, Clint. 
Now if you want this blushing beauty to fall in love with you and give you all sorts of stuff, you're gonna need to give him stuff you find in the mines. He likes emeralds, rubies, diamonds, because of course he does. Anything valuable, he likes it. He is also a fan of all the forageable goods, so it's that easy, and he's easy to befriend because you're probably going to be coming to see him a lot to process geodes and upgrade tools. Now, once you make yourself friends with this hopeless idiot, here's what he'll send you in the mail. Copper bars, iron bars, and gold bars. I really don't have to say much about how useful that is, because anytime you find one of these it saves you finding 5 of the ores in the mines, combining that with a coal in a furnace to smelt it down into a single bar. The more of these he can send you, the better off you are, because you'll bring them right back to him to upgrade your tools. And the more you get to know this interesting personality, the more he'll send you these interesting recipes. Bean hot pot and algae soup. Yes, that's right, very exciting. Neither of these are particularly valuable, their energy and health are pretty good. This one gives you 2 max energy, which is completely useless, just like him. And the legend herself. You'll want to be careful approaching this specimen, who can often be found standing beside her bus. I guess I'll be popping a frozen dinner into the microwave tonight. I'm actually impressed you know how to use one of those. Good work, Pam. She of course loves all things alcoholic and the occasional child to eat. As I said, she's often here beside her bus. She travels the same route every day, that is, after you've unlocked the bus, that is. Other than that, you can find her in and around the trailer and always at the saloon. And occasionally on weekends under bridges, waiting for helpless souls to cross. Now as much as I make fun of this heartless monster, look at the treasure she'll send you in the mail. A battery pack? It's only worth 500 gold, but this powers so many things and they're so hard to get. If you want to buy them, you're probably looking at 10,000 gold from Krobus and his sewers, so the more of these she can send you, the better. Beer, of course. I don't know why she's ever giving this up. She's obviously drunk when she sends it. This is actually a really great gift. I would just re-gift it right back to her or give it to one of the other villagers. Everyone seems to like alcohol in this town and I think I know why. Also, she'll give you energy tonic. This is great for a hangover, which is obviously why she has it. 500 energy and 200 health. That's almost ridiculous amounts. It is worth 500 gold in itself. And apparently she knows how to cook. Whether or not she ever actually does is up for debate. The recipe she'll send you, stuffing, which gives you 170 energy, 68 health, both pretty big, plus 2 defense, which will actually help you protect you from her, and cheese cauliflower, it smells great, 138 energy, 55 health, that is actually worth 300 gold, that's worth 165, so again, worth befriending Pam for some reason. As I said, Pam, pretty easy to find, always at the saloon, almost every night of the week, along with most other people. Pretty much everyone will show up here Friday, Saturday nights, so if you want to give a bunch of gifts at once, do that. Next on this list, we have a real gold digger, Emily. She likes amethyst, aquamarines, emeralds, jade, rubies, things of that nature. She's on this list, not so much because of what she'll give you, but because of her convenience. She's right here in the saloon just about every night, just like everyone else, so might as well befriend her while you're here. The gifts she will send you are pretty useful. So once you make yourself friendly with this blue-headed idiot, she will send you these things in the mail. Cloth. Sea urchin? Wool. Wool is soft and fluffy. A sea urchin is a slow-moving, spiny creature that some consider a delicacy, otherwise known as Pam. And cloth is a bolt of fine wool cloth. Cloth is really what we're after here. Its value is pretty high, 658 gold just for that. Cloth is pretty hard to find. You can get it in Skull Cavern and a few other ways. Whatever the case, it's going to take a little bit of effort to get it. So if Blue-Haired Idiot can just send it in the mail, it's that much easier. Also, recipes. She'll teach you how to make a salad, because apparently that's a pretty complicated thing. That's worth 110 gold, 113 energy, 45 health. And something called a red plate, worth 400 gold in itself. Full of antioxidants, 240 energy, 96 health, so that's pretty huge, almost as big as it gets. Plus 50 max energy for a temporary while, which can be pretty considerable. Considering I only have 640 for now, and I'm pretty sure I cheated to do it, so another 50 temporarily could make a pretty good difference. Next, we have another exciting hair color, Caroline. Maybe I'll just get takeout from the saloon. That's a poor way to start a conversation, by the way. That would explain the green hair, though. Things she loves, fish tacos and summer spangles. So you better go ahead and give her prismatic shards because I have no idea where to get those things. She, again, is on this list mostly because of her convenience. You're going to come see Pierre a lot, who is right down here anyway, so you might as well give her some gifts. Now, what she'll send you in the mail are potatoes, parsnips, and cauliflower. These are just simple spring crops, but they save you having to grow them yourself, and they make great gifts for most people, so I just go ahead and re-gift those. And the recipe she'll send you are parsnip soup and vegetable medley. Both are pretty simple, not hugely valuable, but good energy, good health. Everything she gives you is a vegetable, just like her brain. Next on the list is someone you're going to come to see all the time. That's Caroline's husband, Pierre. Good morning, Pierre. It's starting to get cold outside. 
you might say winter is coming. So Pierre likes the usual suspects. He likes daffodils like everyone else. I'm really surprised at how many people like daffodils. Make sure you keep those, give them to everyone. He also likes dandelions because why wouldn't he? He's always available every day except Wednesday. He's open. His door is open at 9 a.m. You're going to be coming here buying and selling seats anyway, so you might as well make friends with him because the gift he sends you in the mail is money. Simply money. Every once in a while, he'll send you 250 gold. And you can just turn that around and buy seeds with it and make even more money. Also, in the mail, after you're friends with him, he will send you the recipe for blueberry tart. It's subtle and refreshing. 125 energy, 50 health, 150 gold. Not hugely valuable. Nothing he gives you are particularly valuable or hard to get, but it's just the fact that he's so easy and you're going to be going to see him all the time anyway, you might as well befriend him. A little extra money never hurts and he'll send you that. Conveniently enough, this suspicious idiot right here is our next victim, Mayor Lewis. This loon gets pretty lively at night. That's because people show up, but good observation. I like to visit once a week or so to catch up on things. Like your drinking? The mayor can often be found in his house in the lower right of town early in the morning and at Marnie's house overnight. The things he likes and loves are all complicated fancy person stuff, so I just go ahead and give him prismatic shards. He's a slow reader. But when he does give you gifts in the mail, it will be 500 gold. That's right, twice as much as what Pierre gives you. 500 gold is a considerable difference. 500 gold in the mail once in a while, what's not to like? And the good mayor will send you a recipe in the mail, only one eggplant parmesan. 200 gold, tangy, cheesy, and wonderful. 175 energy, 70 health, plus one mining, and plus three defense. That's actually not bad as long as your mining skill isn't already all the way there. That plus three defense would certainly help, certainly in Skull Cavern where everything kills you so quickly. The reason it's worth befriending the mayor is because he's fairly easy to find. The gifts you have to give him are somewhat complicated, but that 500 gold he gives you once in a while, that sure can't hurt. Next we have Demetrius, he doesn't mind me creeping into his bedroom and right up to his bed while he's in it. Did you know that Maru hates truffle? She finds it absolutely repulsive, I think she might be allergic. Disliking something and being allergic to it are two very different things. As a scientist, you might want to try and separate those. Also, that's an interesting observation considering I just strolled up to your bed first thing in the morning. Demetrius loves ice cream and strawberries, probably for situations just like this. Those are probably the easiest gifts to give him. Now, once you befriend this slow scientist, he will send you these in the mail. Nautilus shell, rainbow shell, both of which are found on the beach, rainbow shell in particularly in summer, 300 gold. Amethyst, which is found in the mines, and the brim. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's just a cheap fish you get from fishing. None of these are particularly exciting, some of them somewhat valuable. That's simply what makes them worth befriending. Plus, he's always right here in a shop or just outside, fairly easy to find. The recipe he'll send you, fried mushroom and autumn's bounty. Fried mushroom will give you 135 energy, 54 health, 2 attack, worth 200 gold. That's pretty good in itself. Autumn's bounty, however, worth 350 gold. 220 energy, 88 health, plus 2 foraging, plus 2 defense. The high energy health and the plus 2 defense are what you would take away from that. The plus 2 foraging wouldn't really make a difference. I don't really see the point in that, but hey, it's something. Now you're probably thinking, why not befriend Robin? She's right here too. Well, Robin simply sends you wood, probably because she has a surplus for some reason. And the final person on our list is the one that everyone always forgets about, Sandy, found here in the desert. Hey, I think I can trust you. You can keep a secret, right? Not at all, but you're free to tell me. That guy in the back? It's some kind of exclusive club. I've never been inside myself, but they pay me a generous monthly rent, so I don't ask any questions. I've been here for almost 110 years, I think I know what's in the back of your shop. Anyways, she's pretty easy to befriend because once you unlock the desert, you'll be able to buy all sorts of stuff from her that you're going to be frequently coming to get. And she really loves crocuses, daffodils, and sweet peas. What do these have in common? Well, they are all foraged flowers. That's right, you pick them up off the ground and they're a love for her. So it's really easy to make friends with her once you get those things. Now, once you have made friends with a creatively named Sandy, she will send you cactus fruit, coconut, and tomka soup. Tomka soup is the most interesting of these. Lots of energy, lots of health, plus two farming, which doesn't matter, plus 30 energy. Good for things like mining. These other two are simply found in the desert and she'll send them to you in the mail. That's why I would recommend befriending her. That way you don't have to go to the desert. You'll just occasionally get things from the desert. And then when she wants to send you a recipe, she'll send you the recipe for Tom Ka soup. Again, that's a really good thing for mining or apparently farming if you want to increase your farming for plus two for a while. Still don't know the point of that, but hey, whatever, it's something. 
Don't forget, pay attention to dates. Dates are very important because birthdays. You give someone a gift on their birthday, especially a loved gift. You can get two, I think almost three hearts in that single gift. So don't forget to do that. Don't forget that on their birthday week, you can still give them two gifts as per usual, plus a birthday gift. So that's going to be a good week for them, a good week for you with all those heart points. If you do take the time to befriend all the people on this list, they will send you so many things in the mail, you will have a continuous stream of goods and money coming in, and that will really help you moving forward. If you haven't seen it already, I'm doing a giveaway on my last video, $20 giveaway. All you've got to do is leave a comment, so go check that out, leave a comment, that's all it's going to take. You've got nothing to lose. Other than that, hope you like this one. Thank you all for watching.